lecture series. Today we will cover uh, effect of female health in IVF treatment. So we're covering step three and uh, we will analyze female um, health factors, uh, impact of female health factors in IVF treatment. One of the reasons I'm quite keen to um, complete all these uh, steps of IVF treatment is I would like to start a um, series for analysis of IVF outcomes. So um, we can discuss how we can um, analyze the impact of each, each individual factors uh, in order to um, understand the outcomes of IVF treatment for each patient and overall population. This is why we have to analyze each step, uh, step by step. Okay, so the purpose of uh, understanding the female health factors before starting IVF treatment is first to know what diseases um, a patient may have before embarking upon fertility treatment. Second, to analyze the effect of this disease to fertility, pregnancy, and fertility treatment, and most importantly, modification of impact, negative impact of these diseases to, um, to fertility treatment and pregnancy and health of a child in the future. So um, in terms of effect of the treatment, so the, uh, the disease itself and the medications used for treatment of disease can impact the patient's fertility and their IVF cycle and their pregnancy. Subsequently, it can affect the development of the fetus and the health of child. And uh, once child is adult, they can, it can affect their uh, health in the long term. So this is why it's very important to uh, analyze and review all possible um, medical conditions patients have and address it before we start IVF treatment. So one of these uh, conditions uh, um, is uh, obesity or, um, or being underweight. So it's very important to achieve optimal body weight before starting fertility treatment because it can direct impact on fertility, the outcomes of fertility treatment, and also pregnancy, um, pregnancy of the patient. So ideally we should achieve body weight between 18 to 30, but still in, um, it can be, um, um, we can offer treatment uh, even if uh, BMI is slightly higher than 30, so preferably it should be less than 35 because a uh, high body mass index is directly, can directly impact uh, the outcome of fertility treatment negatively, so that's why we should achieve optimal body weight. And the second um, problem we face, um, uh, we see uh, not so um, infrequently is the mental health problems. Um, so unfortunately, mental health problems can directly impact fertility in IVF treatment and in pregnancy. And more importantly, um, also the some drugs may have a direct impact to, to a fertility treatment and, and pregnancy de uh, developing babies. So that's why um, the, the, we should ascertain uh, what condition patient has and what medications they're taking in and discuss with appropriate specialists in order to modify um, uh, possible harmful effect of medications. Um, anemia uh, can be usually usually caused by iron deficiency, deficiency of vitamin B12 and folic acid, and um, we measure hemoglobin and all these uh, other indices, and uh, and uh, we have to replenish um, uh, deficiency of these micro elements before we start um, fertility treatment because anemia itself can be detrimental in terms of impact of uh, fertility treatment and, and, and pregnancy outcomes. So, and um, in terms of thyroid function, most commonly observed thyroid problem is underactive thyroid. Uh, if patient has under, uh, underactive thyroid, they should be on um, thyroxine replacement therapy and achieve optimal uh, TSH levels before we can start IVF treatment. And also we check patients for presence of pre-diabetes or diabetes, and uh, we recommend achieving optimal glucose control before embarking upon pregnancy because it is, diabetes can directly impact fertility treatment and, and, and pregnancy and pregnancy outcomes. And some surgical um, condition, pre-surgical history is relevant because uh, abdominal and pelvic surgeries can interfere with fertility treatment um, because of possible adhesions on the pelvis and abdomen. So, and also it can impact the management of pregnancy, especially delivery. So that's why we need to understand um, 
the, uh, the history of the patient in terms of previous pre surgical history. So we systematically ask questions about any, um, any other medical conditions and any other medications patients are taking so that we can uh, modify and optimize um, their overall health before we start potential treatment. Um, and also lifestyle factors are very important. Um, because a lifestyle factors can affect overall well-being of the patient and overall and um, their fertility treatment and their pregnancy. So um, you know, being on balanced, healthy diet, stopping smoking, stopping any recreational drugs if patient um, is on recreational drugs, and stopping alcohol or minimizing alcohol before leading up to embryo transfer and not using alcohol after the embryo transfer is strongly recommended. And um, in terms of exercise, strenuous exercise can reduce fertility and fertility outcomes in, uh, during the treatment and moderate healthy amount of exercise is generally recommended. So from this short presentation, we can see that existing diseases and medications which is being used for treatment of diseases can directly impact the fertility of the patient and the IVF cycle and the, the, the pregnancy subsequently. Um, if not modified, can affect the health of the baby. So that's why we have to understand and analyze all ex um, pres presence of all existing diseases and um, modify the, the effects and minimize the impact to fertility treatment in pregnancy and health of, of, the, of the developing fetus and baby subsequently. So this is end of my short presentation. Uh, thanks for your time and I wish you a great evening. Thank you.